Madam Prime Minister, uh, dear High Representative, the events in Ukraine have struck us all. The violence is a threat to our European peace, and it is still unclear what the consequences the war will have on our lives. I lived through the war. I know what war means. One thing is certain. The world has changed, and the EU has changed with it. Within days, even hours, European member states have shown their unity by condemning the, the aggression and by taking concrete measures to safeguard our security. Over the last two weeks, we have witnessed why European strategic sovereignty is so crucial. The EU is showing that it has the leverage and the power to make proactive policies to reduce it, its dependency, to increase its cooperation with like-minded partners. Although the end game is not yet in sight, let us use this clear momentum to create a real security union. Let us improve our resilience and defense capacity based our, on strong strategic compass in cooperation with our transatlantic partners. While managing a crisis today, we should ensure our peace and stability for tomorrow. Thank you. And let's work for the peace because families and those who are fearing for their loved ones only wants a peace at this moment. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Ms. Zofko. I give the floor now.